All righty, let's play this in full. You mentioned in the email you added the headband, which is super cute. I think this works really well. It gives it more of that sporty look. <laughs> Excuse me, what a way to start a critique. It's super cute. I really like it. I think when I watched this the first time, there were there were three areas that stood out. And not that they're shop breaking, but I was wondering, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what's going on there. Like one, I'm not quite sure what's going on. And one, and then the other two, I kind of know. So the first one is, this is all super cute. And then here, I'm back to thinking, are we... What is going on through here? It's not like his feet are sliding. It's not like he's too off balance. I mean, he has a lean forward. I wonder if there could be if there could be a, a bigger curvature in his in his body to stay more balanced. Or maybe it's the momentum of like how quickly the root changes, stops, and goes this way and goes this way. To be honest, I can't quite pinpoint this. There's something that seems Oh, wait, I think it's this here. He comes forward, and when he starts moving left and right here, there, he, I think that's what I'm reacting to. He has all the steps, right? He got a nice breakup between everything, and he got the, the lower neck here involved. All that's cool. And once you get to here, this whole body, the head, the upper body, down to the legs, see all of this? <coughs> Excuse me is moving as one. Here again, it's moving as one forward. There's a little bit of a change in the head there. But then again, it feels like I see a little bit of a drop in the chest. But maybe that's what, what I'm reacting to is potentially this suddenly moving as this one unit. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You get to here and then the head rotates up and then bam, locks kind of in there. And then it's just kind of static through there at least there's some movement there but even through here i feel like the rotation is the same and you're getting into this ik head where it just kind of translates down i wonder if that's what i'm reacting to could probably take this out a bit further for a silhouette yeah i think that's what it is I have to profess some ignorance. There's something. I don't know if that's also in the... I don't know what kind of camera you have. If that's just the warped lens. You know, I don't know if you want to bring that leg further here. And this one stays there. So it's... You know, even this feels a bit better where you have this triangle that gives him more stable balance. Maybe that's what I'm reacting to. That this goes in like this. And they both have an angle this way. And that gives me that, that off-balance feel. I mean, you could also take a step here. And then as he takes those little steps here, all through this will end up with him having the foot here so that you can somehow get into a pose like that where they are a bit further apart like giving you that triangle for for like a stable pose look and maybe maybe a bit more bent over maybe that's what i'm reacting to that this is going in so far something that seems just seems off and again i apologize for being so vague but a the technical thing of this only moving as one unit just make sure it's a bit more broken up and i think it might be cute to do to to, to and then step step where you have like big steps out to give him you know, that balance, like I said. And then you can do the little ones at the end. Then the two other ones were, I think, that jump. Ooh, I think could have just a bit more zip. And I wonder if that's just like two or three frames. And this could just be getting a bit higher. Same timing, just going a bit higher, which will make this a bit zippier and faster. But you don't want to sacrifice hang time. It's just, it feels like you want to just go a bit zippier. Just, and I'm really talking a frame or two. Yeah, 
I feel just a, a bit. But it's also this is so prominent in its in its constant bend that for a second you miss what the other leg is doing. But even the other leg doesn't have a full extension. That's probably that's what I'm reacting to. I wish there was a bit more of a a push off extension. I think that's why this feels ever so slightly not punchy enough because visually silhouette wise it's always always in this bent pose we don't get a, a push off leg extension and the last one was that these two arms kind of come down together i wish this was a bit more offset he goes yay and then on that land you know like whatever you want to do one would be still up here and this one starts to go down and rest a bit lower i would just offset that a bit more and now that i'm framing on it make sure the dad looks looks up at the kid because like once you're in the here he's kind of not quite interested so a bit of a look up and follow down to the kid would be good and the kid looks here so so chat that this is connected this is picky because we're all looking here but I would still push that. You just look at the kid. You're asking for picky notes. I think other than that, it's good stuff. I think all the connection points are good here. There's nothing too IK on the dad's arm. I like your finger offsets. It's just always cute when you have like this ginormous hand and this little hand holding this. I think that's cool. Bounces are cute. His face is cute. Eyebrows are definitely more expressive there. We can see that and then that's all cute. Get your eyebrows leading the blink, which is good. I wonder if here you could ease out of that more. Just cut that in half. And then you have one more and get into this. And then on that opening, your brows go up. I wonder if this could just be a... No, you need to go more because we want that. We want that stern look. No, I think it's okay. I'm just focusing on being picky for picky's sake. Maybe I'm just already getting used to this. There was something about that blink that just felt slightly mechanical. But I might be totally wrong. Yeah, I feel that jump needs to be... That's just a bit more like, yay! Like, he's really into this. And this is a bit... A bit half-hearted there. You might argue, well, but he's not quite confident yet. Maybe, I don't know, but he seems so excited that he really wants to jump. Something that might be cute is if you look at the dad, right? He looks at the kid, looks at the kid, and does this thing. So there are a couple of things, two things here. He seems to, there's something rocky here, pop up right there. And how that body changes. I feel like that upper body, well, rotation towards us. And then how he locks into this position in real time is a bit fast. Ba -ba. Especially that stop. Watch his nose. Bow. He all kind of comes to stop too quickly and it has a slight feel again of chest and head, especially through here, all locked as one. So you have kind of a separate shoulder arm move up while the body goes more away from us while the head is locked to the chest. So watch out for a bit of a stiff feel there. But I'm wondering if he looks at the kid, right? Gets ready and it's almost very subtle almost mimicking what he's doing meaning that he gets ready and he might even close his mouth a bit sooner and maybe open his eyebrows and his eyes a little bit it's almost like oh, is he doing this and on, on the jump he goes back with his face you know almost like you're watching go oh, and he has that reaction that it's kind of tied to what the kid is doing maybe just throwing it out there that could be interesting maybe a little subtle little thing on him because the dad right now just feels like eh, all right you know there's no emotional reaction to him jumping taking that leap so maybe you could mirror that and do something with it eye contact at the end rest is really cute yeah it's cute make sure there's some shoulder impact there as well i think there is but just double check on your end boom 
So it doesn't just feel like you got those soft arms down. But you have it in the head. I think you even have a little bit of eyebrow eyelid thing. Yeah, that's cute. It's really good. I think this all works, especially since it's so fast. Sometimes framing through things is a bit too much. I like that your thumbs come together. Yeah, it's really cute. It's just kind of my my picky things. Yeah, and mainly how he comes to a stop. So look look at all those lines here, how they just end. It's all a bit... Even though it can continue, especially through here, you, you're not resting on this for too long. But I think we can look at how these come to a stop. But yeah, I think the big ticket issues I mentioned at the beginning. And I think the more I watch this, the more I would like to see some sort of reaction right there on him. Just anticipating and into this, just to kind of be more in the moment with the kid. And since you're picky, I mean, since I'm picky, you might even just open up his eyes more, a bigger smile. You know, and you know, again, eye contact, but like they're both happy. It feels like he has this constant subdued, I'm um, kind of sleepy, squinty look. Maybe through here, you could already push this a bit more. I see the change in here, but you know, he seems pretty tired at this point. So maybe at this point, already opening his eyes a bit more so that here it leads into, yeah. I'm exaggerating, but, you know, it's maybe a bigger emotional change. He seems much more excited about this than the dad. The dad's going, eh, come on, kid, I don't have time. I think that's it. Again, sometimes, you know, I look for picky things because people ask me to, but then I'm probably focusing on all the wrong things. Like, is this foot landing could be a bit more tilted this way with the foot, so it's not a flat landing. Maybe this surface is a different color, so we have a nicer silhouette between the foot and the surface. Same thing here, it's a bit flat, maybe turn it away from us a bit more. You know, every step is always slightly offset for more complexity, so it's not this flat loafer coming down. You know, stuff like that. I mean, you know, you could argue, you could talk about this. I mean, it feels like that shape and that angle is almost kind of too similar through here. You might want to bring in some rotation this way, so it angles this way or this way. I don't know. You know, I watch this and I go straight to this kit. And again, it doesn't stand out because of the coloring and all that. But, you know, I don't know. Is that worth a picky note? There's a bit of a jiggle in the knee. Right there. You know, sometimes you just be picky forever and forever, forever, and never let a shot go. Which is definitely what I do. It's so rare that I tell people in my workshop, you're done! Because I constantly see things. But, you know, again, my main points I address at the very beginning. I always kind of look at when I, see, when I look at a shot. What makes me cringe and not cringe in a bad way but in like oh that needs fixing oh that needs fixing and everything else i think no one else would notice if you watch this in a movie you know if there's a shot before and a shot after you would look at the kid you would look at what the kid is doing you wouldn't really look at the feet at all or ever so this is just something for you if you have time if that's what you want to address um but just know that your shot overall works and it's really really cute all righty thank you all right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.